Hey guys, in today's tip, I'm going to show you how to embed images in emails instead of just attaching them. So here's an example of an email I received from someone. He references four screenshots, and you can see here screenshot attached, third screenshot, second screenshot, fourth screenshot. Now, this can be difficult to follow, especially since the screenshots might not either be in the order that they show up here, or they might not download in the same order. And so it can be really helpful to just embed the screenshot where you're actually referencing it. So I'll give you an example here. So let's say I'm sending this email. I'm not going to put anyone in here. And I write a bunch of stuff. And I want to embed the first email. Well, I'm just going to skip a couple lines so I have a little extra space. And I saved each of those attachments. I just downloaded them and saved them to my downloads folder in Dropbox. And so let's say here I want to use this first screenshot, Edit Query. All you have to do, and this works the same on the PC if you're on a PC, is just position it so that you can grab it and just very simply just drag it in. Wherever you left your cursor, that's where it's gonna drop the screenshot. The advantage here is that now my screenshots are embedded and they're contextual and I don't have to download the screenshots and try to figure out which one goes where. They're right in here where they're being referenced. And I usually choose best fit, but you can make it small I don't know why you would want to do that. Uh, you can insist on the original size, but the problem is if you don't have that much text, but the screenshot is really big, then people are going to have to scroll back and forth. Whereas if you leave it like this, then when someone clicks on it, they'll get a larger view. So let me just send this to myself. I'll go in here. And now if I click on it, I'll get the full view. So that's really the best way to send it. And then you can just close. And it then it, if someone sends it to you like this, you can always click on it and either download it or save it to uh, Google Drive. 